Hey friends, this is Carlton Lewis. I'm right here in West Village, out here just in Smyrna, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. And if you were thinking about buying or selling a house in the Atlanta market area, watch this video. I'm gonna give you the Atlanta real estate market update for June, 2021. Stay tuned. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you um, leave a comment definitely leave a comment and make sure you click that notification bell so you'll know the next time I put out a new video. Let's hop right into it. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm gonna read to you the Atlanta real estate market update for June, 2021. And as you can see, I got an email here from the Atlanta Realtors Association, which I am a member of that real estate board here, our local real estate board. And so they send out every month the Atlanta Realtors Market Brief. And these data, this data was compiled by the first multiple listing service, FMLS. And let's just hop right into it. Now it says the June 2021 market brief compiled by First Multiple Listing Service provides a regionally focused synopsis of monthly sales and home prices for residential properties in Metro Atlanta. This summary covers 11 counties, Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, DeKalb, Douglas, Fayette, Forsyth, Fulton, Gwinnett, Paulding, and Rockdale. All right, so let's hop on to the demand. June residential sales were at 7,637, an increase of 2% from the previous year. Okay, so we got a high demand here, it's growing. Now the price, the average and median sales price continues to outpace 2020 figures with positive gains. The median sales price in June was $372,500, which is an increase of 26.3% from last June. The average sales price was $452,500, up 28.2% from the previous year. The supply, the Atlanta area housing inventory totaled 8,739 units in June, which is a decrease of 40, basically 40% from June 2020. New listings total 9,636, which is up 2.7% from June 2020 and up 12.9% from the previous month, which is good. This month's supply over a 12 month period increase to 1.3 months. So there's uh, good gains happening here. And I'm going to flip to a, a graphical presentation of it as well. I want to read the word from our president, Cynthia Lippert. She says the increase in median price for Metro Atlanta for the Metro Atlanta area continues to reflect the inventory shortage that we have experienced this year. It says inventory remains historically low with only 1.3 months of supply, although we have seen some initial signs of this beginning to ease. While we're not expecting a dramatic shift in the market, the continued growth of prices should entice more sellers and reinforce growing inventory levels. We expect the divide between consumer demand and the inventory shortage to grow to gradually narrow, which is good. This will not happen overnight, so we are encouraging buyers that it will take some patience and some hard work and communication with your agent is as critical as ever. All right, so I, I like this um, that the market continues to grow it's crazy because if you saw some of the previous market updates we're just hitting over four hundred thousand dollars for our average sales price this year which is just nuts so let me see if i can pull this other one up here for you guys you can just see a graphical representation of this growth that we're experiencing here in the metro atlanta area that's we talked about the sales it's two percent increase from last year this time you can see the graphical representation here and the median sales price is up 26 percent increase from last year this time the average sales price which i just covered is up 28.2 from last year this time it's a, it's the purple just nuts this price is steadily going up and the inventory we just had a little bump in the inventory you can see right here so the inventory has gone up this is the 1.3 that i 
referred to in the email all right new listings are up which is good so that means more people are putting their houses on the market and the active listings uh 40 40 percent decrease from 2020 so that's a little you know concerning but all in all this market is pretty strong here in atlanta if you're thinking of buying or selling or investing in a property definitely reach out to me make sure you're pre-qualified if you're a buyer and let's talk about it all right let's talk if you need any advice about real estate if you have any questions about real estate whether you're a buyer seller or an agent reach out to me so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you definitely leave a comment like i said if you have any questions and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time i put out a new video i hope you're having a wonderful day and i'll see you next month with a new atlanta real estate market update have a great day peace